Hey, it's me again, and uh, I went to my YouTube channel and discovered that a uh, video I had uploaded uh, was not functioning properly, and it was on this topic, uh, how to install aftermarket firmware to your Antminer D3 or other Antminer uh, from Bitmain. And often when you try and install uh, Bliss, and I'll show you what these files look like, you have to go to your ant minor settings, go to uh, minor, oh, excuse me, uh, upgrade under the system overview tab. And this is where you'll flash your new firmware. Uh, this uh, has a stock firmware on it from Bitmain, and I want to uh, install some Bliss. Uh, so, uh, firmware uh, in order to uh, get some extra features like around 20% more hash rate and automatic reboot function if the miner is dead or if it stops hashing. So you double click on this and this is uh, version 1.12 of Bliss and you click flash image. Now what you'll get right now is an error that comes up and it'll say uh, cannot find signature. What you're going to need to do, and if you notice this IP address is 10.0.0.2.15, if you want to download this program, WinSCP, and I'll include this link in the description. Once you've done that and installed it, and there it is in my downloads, WinSCP 5.17.3 setup, uh, you'll want to open WinSCP, which I already have open. And you want to navigate to uh, a particular folder here in your uh, D3 and minor firmware. Now, how you do this is uh, you set up and we uh, call this. That's the IP address of the Bitmain uh, software. As you can see, it's 10 and uh, this is 10.0.0.2.15. Go ahead and enter the default uh, username and password and select login. So we entered root for the username and root ROT for the password. Now it's going to ask me for another password. And that one is, in all lowercase, admin, A-D-M-I-N. Press OK. And here you have, this is the Antminer D3's uh, firmware package on the miner. We want to open up, click this top uh, file. It's my cat. <laughs> He's uh, keeping me company twice then scroll down to www then pages then cgi-bin and there'll be a file called upgrade.cgi you want to right click it edit the file and uh, I edit this file again Now, this is what you want to scroll down to, is these two statements. They both begin with if, and they're about uh, just a little ways down from the top. You see it says mkdir file, cd file, tar, zxf. What you want to do is click to the left of the I, and then we're going to put little tic-tac-toe boxes there until... All of these lines have a tic tac toe box. And you'll be entering 15 tic tac toes on that minor D3 on that function. That begins with M, the runme.sh.sig. The SIG is a security feature that Bliss and aftermarket firmware do not include. 
So we're going to tell uh, the miner with the firmware to ignore this function, which is kind of like a loop or something. And then below there, you want to delete those five tic-tac-toes under the command if runme.sh, which is different between runme.sh and sig. So we're going to delete the tic-tac-toe mark for these five uh, lines of this second statement for runme.sh. I'm going to click the little disk and save it. And down here it says it is connecting. And now it uploaded and it's complete. After you've done that, you probably won't leave this open, but after you've done that, you'll be able to go back into your uh, miner at uh, 10.0.0.15 or other IP going to your Bitmain uh, miner. Cat's on the table again. And you'll go to choose file, your aftermarket firmware, and flash image. And you shouldn't get the error, signature not found. So that is the big secret to uh, how to uh, get aftermarket firmware uh, to work. And you'll need the, again, the Win SCP uh, program and uh, your miner will need to connect it to the network. So. Thank you for your time. If you have any other questions or need some help with this particular topic, please let me know. And uh, I will see you later. I'm going to find out how to terminate my uh, my video here. I'm not sure why I can't end the video. Oh, there it is.